Hi, I'm Tom from Ledgemere Heritage Farm. I've got my ewe here, Luna, behind me, and I'm gonna get her hooves done. So first thing I'm gonna do is go over a couple different tools that you're gonna need, and you can get these at a feed store. These came from Premier One, which I am uh, very happy to use. This is a, just a common hoof pick you'd use for a horse. Uh, you use this brush to clean the manure and crud off the hooves, and then you're gonna dig the manure that doesn't come out with this little hook on the end. And you can the second thing I have is shears, and some people use tin snips. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure about those, but these are actual hoof snips, and it's very important these remain sharp all the time because you're gonna take little tiny cuts and you're gonna use the, the ends of it more than the crotch of it. And so, it, you know, you're gonna have the, the best ability to cut down here, but you really want fine cuts, so you're gonna wanna make sure these are good and sharp. Third tool you're going to need, I just have a little block plane here, and this is to shave the hoof down after you've you've done most of the trimming. So you just want to get the irregularities out with this, and you can use a rasp with a handle on it. Um, and I know that the industrial farms, when they trim a lot of hooves, they've got like a grinding wheel that's got little blades on it, but that's too sophisticated for me, so I, I just use this. I got three things here that you should have in your medical cabinet. Uh, this is some styptic powder. It's not uncommon to draw a couple drops of blood here and there when you are cutting, so I wouldn't be too um, worried about a couple drops, but this styptic powder is basically like quick clot, and so a little bit of this on hand is great. This is blue coat. You can find this pretty much anywhere. It's like four bucks, and for hooves it's probably okay, but our, our veterinarian really doesn't recommend it. For it, particularly for animals that are going to be uh, harvested for food. So you can get this aluminum spray. It's called aloe spray. You can find it on Amazon or that's where I got it was Amazon. I'm going to get as much of that crud out of there as I can. It's okay, Luna. You're all right. So this part right here needs to come off. That this is where you want to be down to here, but I'm not going to take that much off because afraid of getting to the quick and then I'll, I'll have blood. So I'll clean this up pretty good here. And then I'm just gonna cut that off. It's long right now but it's not folded over so it's not too bad. You're right. So she's just balancing her leg on my knee, which isn't the most pleasant thing, but it could be worse. I'm holding this upside down for the camera so the sun's not in the way. When you, when you come in this way, it's easy to get too much. See, this is holding me up. So you can get too much, you gotta come in. You'd think it'd be easier to come from that way, but it's not. You gotta take just a little bit off. And it's white here. We're still okay. Um, take a little bit off here. The biggest thing I could tell you is just be slow and methodical with your cuts. Don't rush. So I want to get this toenail down, but I don't want to. I don't want to take off that much because I'm afraid of cutting too deep. So we're just gonna take a, a little bit off here. And mostly, let's get rid of a lot of that. That looks pretty good. She could be on her side. That's not gonna hurt her. This is growing the wrong way. It's putting stress on her ankle. And if it breaks off, it'll be like breaking a fingernail. So we gotta get that off. Just little deliberate cuts. See how it's folded over? We gotta get that fold off. Some of these sheep 
because they're outside all year, they wear their feet down better than the others. Just little deliberate cuts. We don't want to take too much because you'll get into the quick. See how it's white there? We don't want that to be pink. Here. I really want that to be like this because when she puts her foot down, she puts her foot down, she's going to be putting stress right here. So I really want to take more off the toe, but I'm afraid to take too much. I mean, she's not on cement, she's outside in the snow, so I'm not overly concerned about it at the moment. This here's what a finished hoof should look like. And you can see I've got a nice white here, like your fingernails would be after you've trimmed your nails. The back is flat. I've got a nice plane here. The angle is good. Hopefully this has been beneficial to you. If you have any questions, please put them down bottom there in the, in the comments. And once again, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit like down there. Thanks for watching. Of course I do for my mouth. She's, 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 she's right there. Your baby's right here. Homestead amount of sheep. Yeah, I know.